I thought she was going to talk about Bruno and then she's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo. Check, check. Good. Okay, I will start. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We don't, don't talk, talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. You gotta get copyrights. Right? Oh no. My second favorite song. This is the only song I almost know by heart. We could yeah. do it. <laughs> yes. I love how the camera tips. It's so, so difficult beautiful. for me not to sing. I love Felix just like seizing his opportunity and jumping <laughs> in like... <laughs> Dutch angle! It's just so nice yeah. how they're acting and dancing at the same time. Yeah. I, I love the dynamic camera movement. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Like the dancing is amazing. Yeah. I saw like reference videos that they took, but this is still yeah. like on another level. <gasps> the skirt simulation. <gasps> It's so cool, they uploaded all the dance references so you can look at them yeah. and like compare it to the final uh, video. It feels like a handheld camera. <gasps> this is my favorite part. So good. So difficult to sing. So difficult. <laughs> in, in the back you can see Bruno. Yeah, true. I love I'm the awkward dancing. <laughs> I love how Mirabel is like, oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> She's just like... Dancing along, she doesn't know what's actually going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a green light. <laughs> He's vibing. Bad. Camilo is such a theater kid. He's like <laughs> my soulmate. Yeah. The transformations is yeah. so cool. Yeah. Oh, more Camilo, please. He has like, oh. the smoothest voice ever. Such a beautiful voice. I love how they're all like different kinds of character acting to say no, no, no. Mm -hmm. So nice. Uh, the light change. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're just not even trying to stay serious with it. It's amazing. Did you see the choreography to the layout to this one? Yes. <laughs> with the nice, nice little style. shine on his yeah. head. <laughs> also the way they um they change the color. The mm. way they play with the color. It's so nice. I love her dress. I love all their dresses. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Like every every character is like a distinct color. She's just so elegant. I know that's the point of it. Like, she's too <laughs> perfect, but it's so satisfying to watch. She's being so dramatic, too. <laughs> Her hair is so nice and flowy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like the sound design on this one. It's also so nice. I thought that she was so going to talk about Bruno, and then she's like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> she's so mean. Yeah. What a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the green is so nice. I really need to know about Bruno. I love how they're just walking so <laughs> slowly. The choreography in this one. Ah, so amazing. So oh, I love it how like yeah. all the parts overlap. It's so good. That's how I set the table at my place. Of course you do. Yeah. Oh, Louisa. I love Louisa. Yeah. It's so hard to say which one is the best character. Louisa's my favorite. I love all of them. I can't decide. <laughs> Uh, and then hear how it changes, like the background so fades into dry. black, and then everybody comes in. The fucking fish lady. <laughs> the woman with the fish changes into Dolores. Like, how is she relevant to the story? <laughs> Her fish died, Mike. Yeah, I know, but like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> so good. We Don't Talk About Bruno is a song from the movie Encanto that came out in 2021. It's directed by Jared Bush and Byron Howard, and the song is created by Lin Manuel Miranda. It's sung by the voice acting cast of the movie. Where to even fucking start, bro? The first thing I love is this this camera movement here. Like how the way it, it tips. There's quite a lot of like camera angle mm. changes. It does feel like we're on a ship sometimes, like going <laughs> back and forth. Which like kind of reflects like her stormy personality. Mm, yeah. No way. I like lines of action where he's like leaning away and she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> the little movements he does here with the hands. <laughs> also, I love her frills on her dress. Generally, the hair and the dresses all simulated really well. When you're animating, you animate the character without hair and without clothes. Later, it goes to a simulator who simulates the hair and the clothes. I love the transitions. The transitions mm. are amazing in this. In the film in general, they use a lot of 3D magic where they do yeah. stuff that's impossible. Those simulations. So obviously the animator doesn't animate how the oh. dress like flows around and that's all a simulation which is like I take one entire plane I say it pins here 
and then uh, the program can actually just calculate based on how much velocity, strength, weight, gravity I put inside. I assume that you have like some sort of proxy model that you hold on to instead of the actual dress. A proxy model is like a simplified version of the final thing. So it takes a lot less computing power and then later it's replaced. Mm -hmm. Disney animation was just flexing mm -hmm. with the skirts the entire yeah, movie. Yeah, you could tell they're proud of yeah, their yeah. dresses. Every yeah. single moment they have the chance, <laughs> somebody goes. And of course it's part of Colombian dancing, but you no. can see her like do this and like the frills will move. The, the process of animating a scene, there's gonna be first of course the storyboard, like where the director is like, hey, I want this and that. And then they take reference videos, then the blocking comes in. They take characters like 3D models and they literally just twirl it around <laughs> and how, where they should be. And afterwards with each step you do more animation, you do more keyframes. And then, of course, color grading comes and lighting. I like these two a lot when it comes to the character acting because they're giving and taking so much from each other. Here you see Billy think like, oh, how can I get back into the storytelling? And then she talks something and you see him go, oh, opportunity. Yeah. And then she's affronted by him interrupting. And it's just such a nice giving and taking. <laughs> Yeah, and the tipping again, it's, yeah. oh, I fucking love it. Dutch angle! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look at the horizon! Woo! <laughs> Dutch Wait. angles are used to make something more dramatic. Something wrong. It's this mystery, yeah. And, and like, it's something <laughs> negative. And so because of the color palettes and the Dutch angles help a lot to make it feel like, oh, okay, maybe this is not such a good thing. I love the environment, uh, especially the house. Architecture is such a, a, such a difficult thing to get right. But I think they nailed it. I appreciate that he's muscular, yes. so his movements aren't as bouncy as, for example, hers. The umbrella just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> like from his back, <laughs> bam, there you go. <laughs> the umbrella looks really nice and it opens. But it's not really realistic though. The animation in Encanto generally is very cartoony. See when it opens, it's really bouncy. Like it goes up and then it goes down, so it has this really popping effect. The twirling transitions into yeah. the next scene, which is like a From completely different color. I love the lotus. I love the god rays, mm. especially like with the haze in the back to give it more depth. I like how all their character designs have small little elements that relate to their characters. So for example, these are like uh, sound waves. Mirabel has the butterflies literally everywhere, but I, I just, it's such a cute detail for everybody to have that. I also love the rim lights on hairs. Mm. This makes it feel so much softer. You use rim lighting to differentiate uh, the background with the main characters. You, because sometimes Mirabel's hair could blend into part. the background, yeah. So nice, like the whole animation is so dynamic. Dolores is really expressive with her eyes especially. Mm -hmm. And she moves them around quite a lot and you can see that there's a smear frame in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Rock eyes. No, that's an ama it makes it look really good and yeah. it's an really amazing in between. It is definitely more cartoony than regular Disney movies, but it makes it look really good. Like, I like the way they animated it. <laughs> Wait, I saw someone dancing in the background. Yeah, Bruno is in the background. He walks. He's oh, introduced here. He is. And then uh, later on, he just still walks. He, like, here he bops his head. Like, yes. <laughs> also in the face, everything is like open towards. You can see her eyebrows are tilted. Mm. Her eyes, this eyes more open than that one. So she's really looking at Mirabel. And it's mm. really good facial animation on Dolores. And they're also squishy. Like, yes. So much squ like, squash and so stretch. Much. So it's like, here's Camillo. And oh, just... that's... <laughs> like yes. the transition from Camilo into Bruno. <gasps> Here they, they literally just replaced him. Pretty cool that they managed to like switch the like models out so smoothly, I guess. Because in 2D you just continuously draw the character yeah. different and you make a morph and that works very well. But here it's so seamless. The trick to doing really good transitions and morphing is that you move in the movement. I mean, they kind of have a, like a similar character design with the yeah. poncho and everything. But it is kind of uh, crazy that it goes from yellow to green in one frame. Yeah. Arcs! Look how like he goes from here. Whee! Everything follows this arc. To make it feel more fluid. Whee! He also looks extra creepy because the, the camera is following his face, right? It looks a little unsettling. You can see his whole body behind him is moving. 
but his face stays in the same place. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely like the position of the eyes. If all of that is like the same, then I guess it doesn't look weird. Yeah. It's also like the entire scene is so color coded. So you get really like a feeling of, okay, this is a different wow, part look as at well. This, look at his fingers. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, very green and like sickly colors. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that amazing stretch. Here the ground is already opening up, yeah. but she just stays in the air for more of the bounce. But the viewer needs to first see like, oh, something is happening. And can then we, she falls. Can we just look at the spacing of this thing? Yeah, like it stays here for a while and then suddenly one, two frames, the head is already gone, third frame gone. And again, the colors are super cool. Mm. Like hers is like, like Bruna is obviously lighting, green. Yeah. And the sister, hers is like pink. Oh yeah, hers is like orange. That's also just such a nice pose. Mm. I think the posing just in this shot is super cool. It's just yeah, such a cute is. pose. Dolores being dramatic as always. Dolores being the best character. When you're animating, you also want to make sure that the characters are always clear so you can tell from every angle what they're doing. And here they made sure to include just the tiniest bit of lip and the tiniest bit of nose so that mm. you can see in what way exactly she's looking. Yeah, also that the line of sight adds up with the characters on the ground. Yeah. The structure of the house, it's super nice, like big, big buildings and like a, a tower in the middle and then like it's super nicely structured. Yeah, I mean the set designers also did a great job at designing the entire house. Like I guess it's also very Colombian, like the, the tiles and then the, the mosaic things. In the movement again, like while he's like jumping. Oh, and his, and his then, poncho kind of helps with the transition to make it more smooth too. Yeah. So everything doesn't disappear at the same time. That's a hell of a lot of stretch. It's so cool. Yeah. But like yeah. for a lot of the transformation, they just like have him turn. Squash, and then he stretches Stretch. in the arc. They literally squished his, like he doesn't have a neck. Eyes, big eyes, tiny. <laughs> oh, Mirabel in the background. Everybody's so in sync, except for Mirabel, she's out of the family. With the light here being warmer, like yeah. here the light is warmer, here the light is cooler. Like the glasses, you can see how they jump fast and then they stay for many, many frames in the air before they then again land fast. But it's probably also so that the viewer catches the glasses yeah, in the air, yeah. otherwise it will be too fast. Because they're also transparent. This is an animation exercise that everybody <laughs> should do. <laughs> One point is character lifting a heavy object because like the pot in the animation doesn't have any weight. Yeah, models but have Because of weight. how Luisa like moves and treats the pot, she makes it look Heavy. Weight is created by the animators. This scene has like all of them saying their own mm. like verse to still give like a coherent scene. You as one animate need to animate all these different people. The characters still need to work within each other. You can't have like mm. one person animate one character and another one another character because otherwise the interactions might yeah. not be as natural. Luisa just appears in the background here, oh. very sad, and I'm just like, oh, I guess I'm <laughs> yeah. part of this. <laughs> in the song, you know, Isabella is supposed to be happy, and she was promised everything perfect, but here, you like, if you pay attention, you see that she's really, really sad about all of this, and she also sings like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, I just love like, how dynamic her expression is. It feels like flesh. Squash, and then it opens up and becomes thinner here. Here it's... It takes the nose with it downwards while it opens the mouth. I think it's fun that they put in here mm. with this. It's like a swing and then up and the, and the mouth kind of lags. So it's like, um, it kind of gives it like an arc. This song is going to haunt me for the, for the rest of the week. <laughs> Thank you for reacting. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. us.